Our next guest's life story unfolds like something out of a movie, but it's real. It's her story, and she's sharing it with the world. O Magazine recently selected her book, Leaving the Witness, as one of the best books of the summer. Author Amber Scora's fascinating and gripping memoir sheds light on her formative years as a Jehovah's Witness of losing her faith, leaving that religion, being shunned by family and friends, but then finding herself and a new life on the other side. Amber, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. You say that you were born into the faith. We're talking, you know, a third generation Jehovah's yeah. Witness. But you say you always felt like an outsider. How come? Well, as a Jehovah's Witness, we're taught that we are different from the rest of the world. And that's kind of one of the ways that you have the separation between feeling like you have the truth and that others will be that don't have the truth. And so we believe that the whole world was going to basically pass away in a cataclysmic Armageddon and that only Jehovah's Witnesses would survive. So there was always this kind of separation between us and them, sort of the other on the outside. Um, that's why Jehovah's Witnesses preach, because they're trying to help save people from this death. And you believed that? Yeah, I believed it 100%. You believed it 100%. Now, you moved to China as a missionary, but instead of converting others, it was really you and your own life that changed. Talk to us a little bit about the turning point in your life there. Well, it was funny because in China, because uh, preaching is illegal and our religion was illegal, we did the work underground. So it was the first time, ironically enough, that I had a bit of freedom, even though it was China, which is not known for freedom. But there, the work that we did was not as organized. And we only met once a week, as opposed to if you're a Jehovah's Witness in Canada, you're meeting multiple times a week. And you're, you're really in this quite insular community. So in China, I had a lot of freedom. And I, I think just being in a new culture, having a new language, I was starting to see things in different ways, and there were cracks that started to form in my faith. And some things seemed like they didn't add up anymore to me, but other, thing, other things kind of felt wrong. And did you feel like you could talk about it, or it was a very no. insular experience? Yeah, you can't, when you're a Jehovah's Witness, the worst crime you can commit, or the worst sin, is to become a non-believer, or to not believe in something. They call that being an apostate. So even when you start to have doubts, you don't dare tell people because it will cause a lot of consequences for you. And you, you left the religion in your 30s. You were yeah. shunned by your family and friends. Was there a moment, because once you've been so involved in a culture and so ingrained in this religion, that there were moments after you left that you wanted to go back because maybe it was just more comfortable for you? Yeah, I mean, it was all I had ever known. It, mm -hmm. was, it was my whole way of life. It, it was my whole worldview, my hope for the future. So when I started to realize it wasn't the truth that I thought it was, there were times where I tried to go back. I thought, maybe, maybe it, it's enough true. But over time, I just started to see things in a different way. I think one phenomenon I noticed it was that you, can, you see what you want to see. And what I hadn't seen before was a lot of um, the kind of like, misogyny that's in the religion or that there's, uh, there's this requirement to shun people for non-belief. And so all those things started to feel wrong to me. And, Ultimately, I had to leave. Yeah. And how, how, how difficult, I can't imagine, you know, with your family and friends having to make that separation. Yeah, it was very difficult because as a Jehovah's Witness, you, your whole life revolves around the community. So it was a very swift shunning because basically the leadership says that if anyone doesn't believe in something, you should cut them off immediately because they don't, they think that you're going to influence someone else. So yeah, it was hard. I was in China, of course, and all on my own. And so I basically had no choice but to start a new life. Start a new life. So and shortly after you left, you were once again hit by tragedy when your three-month-old son died on his very first day of daycare. I have to say, we're incredibly sorry to hear, oh, thank you. To hear that. How did you find the courage to, to move on and to share that story? Um, part of it was when, when a child dies, the, the worst thing that for a parent is to think that that child would be forgotten. Mm -hmm. So. In the beginning, I started doing some activism work because I live in the U.S. and there's very little parental leave, and that was part of what I felt contributed to me having to leave him so young. So I started doing activism, um, and then I just started to write about it because I really wanted to keep his memory alive. Um, that was, yeah, basically why I did it. And keep, and keep that conversation going. When we look at the religion now, when you look at it, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about it? Basically, I mean, I think Jehovah's Witnesses, I know so many Jehovah's Witnesses, they're wonderful people, but essentially, um, when you're a Jehovah's Witness, you're under indoctrination, and so you fully believe it, but I have a lot of care and compassion for my old friends, but um, basically, I, th I do think that they do have harmful practices that should be, you know, exposed and that people should be aware that um, there are certain things in the religion that are harmful to people. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thank Incredible you. book. Leaving the Witness is available in stores and online. Amber, thanks. thanks.
Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.